Earth's oceans are the habitat for more than 200,000 known species. But man's activities on land threaten the lives of these aquatic creatures. One of the biggest dangers to ocean life is marine debris. Marine debris is anything that doesn't belong in the ocean, and that's mostly any type of man-made material. Each year, plastic bags, bottles, cans, and other debris enter our coastal waters from our inland rivers and streams. This debris pollutes our waters and poses a serious threat to aquatic animals. This debris was found in the stomach of a loggerhead turtle in the Mid-Atlantic Ocean. We're concerned about marine organisms or mammals ingesting this debris and it causing any problems from impacting their digestive system so that they're full of plastic and they can't pass it and therefore they can't eat and they basically die from starvation. Gathering information and analyzing data are essential parts of marine resource protection. The Environmental Protection Agency collects data in the ocean to protect human health, support economic and recreational activities, and to influence actions that safeguard healthy habitats for aquatic wildlife, including the fish we catch and eat. The value of the data is to monitor the ocean water quality long term to make sure we're not degrading the quality of the ocean waters and a lot of the things that we do on land will affect the water quality out at sea. So if we can pick up changes out in the ocean, we can help modify some of our practices on land. Helpful practices on land include proper trash disposal and the recycling of plastic bottles, bags, and cans. There aren't a lot of creatures out here that can really defend against anything we tend to throw in the oceans at them. And people at home can do simple things. All it costs is some consideration in terms of where they put their trash.